Hello everybody, Mobius1 here bringing you episode 10 of Ace Combat 5. In the last episode, we finally, finally decided to take the fight to Yuktabania. We uh, did like an invasion of Normandy style raid on a beach with multiple ground forces moving up, ultimately resulting in us capturing a fortress, which we're going to be using as like a base of operations within Yuktabania as we slowly move our way across the country. Um, <clears throat> I think it's really cool. Uh, you're going to see here when we go into the briefing, um, most of these combat games do this where as allied forces take more and more ground in the opposing uh, nation, the coloring of the map will change. So you'll see most of the country right now is going to be red, but the uh, areas that, you know, Osea has, has liberated or taken over uh, will slowly turn blue, and more and more of the map will be blue as we play through the game. And I always love that because it's, it feels like you're, you know, you're, it's, you're part of a campaign where the front lines are moving. I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a minor feature, but I really like it. Anyway, let's check out the next mission. This is Mission 10, Blind Spot. The Yuktobanian force that defended the Bostok Peninsula is staging a large-scale withdrawal from the area. Yeah, you can see the blue there. the situation, we have determined that they are pulling back the force to regroup their defense network and strengthen their capital defenses. Yuktobania's southern armies sustained heavy damage during our landing operation, and their defensive war power has weakened considerably. Their withdrawal is currently proceeding under the curtain of a set of electronic jamming signals. The enemy's air forces consist primarily of transport planes. Pursue these planes, destroy them, and halt their retreat. Okay. <clears throat> that sounds uh, simple enough. There's a bunch of transport planes. Um, so yeah, there's some C-130s there, an E-767, which is going to be a jammer. C-130, C-130, E-767 with F-14 as an escort. C5s with two E767s, and that's it. So it's going to be all air to air, so no A10s. Let's see what uh, buy options we picked up. Uh... Oh, we got the F14 now. Oh man, we can only afford one of them. For almost 15,000. Uh, tornado is 15,000, but that's air to ground. MiG-31, also 14,000. Semi-active air-to-air. -air. Holy moly, that speed, though. 97. I think that might be the fastest plane. Hmm. Um, I think... I think we... Oh, we sold two of the F-18s. Okay. We could buy two F-16s. I'm really trying to save my money. Uh, how much is an F-20? Almost 12,000. I really want to go with the F-18 so we can uh, continue to maximize our uh, little our progress bar here. What do I want to do here? Actually, let me check real quick. Okay, so it costs 13100 to buy an F-18. I just want to see what the sell price is. If we're, Are we getting full value back when we resell these? Yeah, okay, we are. So you get the, you get the full price for a plane back when you sell it. So if that's the case, um, I'm going to sell both of these. There's just no reason to keep those anymore. I can actually sell... let's sell some A-10s. We'll sell two A-10s. Because if we need to rebuy them, like, we're not losing any money on that deal. So we could just rebuy them. And let's buy... Let's buy two of these F-18s. Even though we're probably not going to be... We're not going to use the special weapons at all. At least with all four of us flying F-18s, that should help boost that progress meter. Hopefully all the way to conclusion At the end of this mission, so here we go. We're just gonna go all four of us f-18 Which plane am I going up in captain? Captain which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? Yep. Okay 
That's fine. We don't need special weapons. This should be a fairly straightforward mission. No. You didn't listen to it? Back of the coin is a masterpiece. All right. Edge engaging. Archer engaging. There's the F14. Whoops. Chopper engaging. Due to current circumstances, we have been forced to set foot on you, Kabania, with weapons. However, our true enemy here. Boom. There's a, a C-130. Oh, so we've got false targets now. They're not all real. Edge, get out of the way! See, there, there's not actually a target here. There's way too many signatures on radar. Yeah. Nagasay, how about you guys? My radar is showing strange results as well. Something's going on. Where's that E-767? Uh, you don't think... Does the enemy have a tally hole on us yet? Aha. I think I figured it out. Well, is this it? All right, so we got to use our visual scanning in addition to our radar. So that's, I think that's the real target, yeah. See, I can, I can, if I can see the plane, <clears throat> excuse me, I can see the actual plane, so I don't need to worry about the jammer. But alright, let's see if we can find the E-767. There should be a jammer up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. No. I don't think so either. The radar is back online. What? Don't make spots flying like this. Calm down, it just means. Is that a real target? Yeah, there is a plane there. Enemy jamming wave. Interference. This is the A four ninety second leader. All A four ninety second units proceed as planned. Alright, good. Eighty four second ninety seconds here. Ah, screw it. Dude, that F-14 is fast. What? Sure. Holy crap, look at all those targets. There's the, there's the jammer. We'll take this one out first. What? It's not us. No, there's no one else on radar. No. Roger. So you're sure you didn't do this? Yes. Why would we do that? Weren't you watching from up there? Don't break formation. Your primary mission is to escort the transports. So we're just gonna watch them die. That's what I hate about war. No matter who starts it, it always comes to this. 
Oh no, crap! This C-130 fell on me. Oh my god. Let's watch that again. Ugh. Lesson learned. Don't fly directly underneath a falling aircraft. That's some Top Gun shit right there, though. I was... inverted. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, well, I guess I'll have to catch back up to that spot. I'm great at this game. That's what I hate about war. No matter who starts it, it always comes to this. We wish to work hand in hand harmoniously with the citizens of Utopia for this operation. All right. I'm pretty much caught up to where I was the first time. Is that a real plane? It's gotta be. Yep. Is that the last jammer? There's the jammer. I could not find that last jammer. This is the last one. Damn, he's going fast. Two mid-airs in one mission, man. Overall, though, that was pretty simple. ...halting the Yuktabanian army's airborne withdrawal from the Bostok Peninsula. However, a Yuktabanian civilian complex and engineering university has been attacked. This attack occurred in an area within operating range of the Sand Island Squadron. So? Sand Island air crews will report to Central Command Headquarters in the Ocean capital city of Aured immediately. Um, yeah, we didn't do it. Alright, let's watch this progress meter. Please fill up. Please fill up. I'm gonna hit the button and, and jump to the end. Please fill up. Ah, oh, so close. It's like 80, 85%, something like that. We're close, though. We got an S. 15,000 reward. Cutscene? No cutscene. So... Ugh, doesn't look good. Um, so apparently, under the cover of that jammer, somebody shot up a school. And it looks like it was us, but it wasn't us. But now we gotta report back to the capital, and uh, I guess we're gonna, like, be investigated or something. So, that's gonna be it for now. Um, so, alright. There's two points in this game where Chopper asks a question about a song. You heard er towards the beginning of that level, he asked if I listened to that song yet, and I said no. Um, depending on whether you say yes or no to that question actually determines... Uh, it's almost like a choose-your-own-adventure. There's going to be an A side or a B side where the missions are different. So you can see the next level we're going to be playing is 11B because I said no. So, um, I like 11B better than 11A, so we're gonna play this this route first. There's also a 12B, I believe, um, because I said no, and then later on in the game there's gonna be another time where you can choose either A or B. Um, we're gonna play through the way that I like first, and then at the end of the game we'll go back and we'll free mission the ones that we missed, just so you guys can see 
every level. But um, 11B is probably one of my favorite levels of the game. So it's, it's definitely one of the most unique missions ever in an Ace Combat game. So that's why we're going this route now. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching. Mobius1 here, and I'll see you next time.